I'm Cassie Sucker, the librarian at Leobet College, and I'd like to share with you something intriguing from the library. The hero of the Hanukkah story, Judah Maccabee, has inspired artists and writers from Dante to Handel. You'll find the story of the warrior underdog triumphing over a mighty oppressor in opera, poetry and prose. It's not surprising to find a book bearing his name in Hebrew in our collections. With flags waving, the Star of David and the Lion of Judah rampant on the cover's emblem, cheering his victory. But it turns out this is not a children's book or another novel about the hammer, but a document of many more layers. As we can see from the beautiful English and Hebrew title pages, it turns out we have a five-act play by the American poet Henry Wadsworth Longfellow translated into Hebrew in Manchester in the year 1900 by Joseph Maisel. In these parallel pages, we see an extraordinary meeting of Jewish culture and English literature. Longfellow, famous for the Song of Hiawatha and Paul Revere's Ride, wrote his tragedy in 1872. Maisel came from Vilna to Manchester in 1895 and promoted Hebrew as a living language through his printing press. It is an extraordinary act of reclamation to take a text from the literary aristocracy borrowing from Jewish history and transfer it orally and visually back into a Jewish context through the Hebrew letters and the sound of the language. It is a wonderfully creative endeavour to take the language of the Torah, unspoken for centuries, and find ways for it to express the intricacies and nuance of English literature. Longfellow gives heroic voice to Judah himself, but it is the tragic voices in both English and Maisel's Hebrew that are so moving the defiant mother witnessing the martyrdom of seven sons, the repentant Antiochus dying alone in a strange land, and most compelling, the false priest Jason, who allowed the temple to be defiled. In the Jewish soldier's moment of triumph reclaiming the temple, Longfellow captures Jason's remorse and struggle with his identity. In Act 4, Scene 3, we find Jason alone. Through the gate beautiful, I see them come with branches and green boughs and leaves of palm and pass into the inner courts. Alas, I should be with them, should be one of them. But in an evil hour, an hour of weakness that cometh unto all, I fell away from the old faith and did not clutch the new, only an outward semblance of belief. For the new faith I cannot make mine own, not being born to it. It hath no root within me. I am neither Jew nor Greek, but stand between them both a renegade to each in turn, having no longer faith in gods or men. Maisel's Hebrew translations show that integral to his Zionist vision was the unity of the people through a shared language. His engagement with English literature suggests that perhaps the choice was not so stark as the ancient one between Judaism and Greece, and that there is a rich possibility for communication and creativity in the interaction between Jewish and secular traditions. All this for one shilling.